So I'm here with my brother, John, and we are going to be replacing the dumps on the 69 Impala. Um, what's happening is we were getting, the car was lifting and dumping on its own. So now what we need to do is we're gonna be coming over here and we're gonna be taking these off and replacing them with these nice new all chrome from Hoppos. Have John from J Custom Builds here. We're doing a rebuild on a top dump system on a two pump front back side to side system. Okay, so now we uh, got the hoses off. Next is uh, gonna remove the slow down with the valves and the T. And then we're gonna remove the dumps from here. We're gonna remove this, remove the wire. We already have the solenoids off. Once we get all the hardware off, then we'll be able to rebuild and put on all the new fittings and everything. And right now he's Tefloning what is called a check valve. And so basically these are your dumps. These are what we're replacing here. Um, the ones that went bad. We thought it was a coil, but it wasn't. I think we just had some uh, either blockage or the shafts were bad. So we just decided to redo the whole system. All right, so now we're gonna do the check valve. It's gonna go on the T. And the way it works is the balls have to go towards this side of the T on both check valves. That ball right that there goes ball, into exactly. the T. And then same thing on the other side. You, some people get mixed up and they put the ball going one way, but you actually have to put the ball that you see there, that has to go towards the T no matter what side it's on. Some people think you have to do overkill on it, but you don't. All right. Okay, so same thing with the other side, ball goes to the T. So when you're putting these together, you want to make sure that both balls are facing the T. Otherwise, it can overlock, cause your key to break inside of your motor, inside your pump head, or it can bust your shaft in between, or it can overlock and just cause all kinds of problems that you don't want. So with these, it doesn't really matter um, if you're going to put the T on this for double pump most people put it either way it doesn't matter what side and then that'll be your return fitting and we'll show you what that looks like once it's assembled so you want to use a towel when you're putting your dumps together and you want to get the block going and now that you have your your T Teflon this is the best way to tighten it and then when you're done, the goal is to have both dumps facing you and the T at the bottom. And we'll show you, show you what that looks like right now. And, and sometimes if, if it gets too tight on the block like that, then, okay, well, there, I think my brother actually has it already. That's it right there. It's a little bit off. So you right want to get it straight. Now that's ready to go on the car. And we'll show you what that looks like. So that's it. So then now you'll see once we get it to the car, that's ready to roll. That's it. Straight? Pretty straight to me. Right. Straight as she's going to get. We'll then get we now little. we got to do this part. So we just need to Teflon these two sections. And then that's going to go on to the pump for the return. Uh -huh. So now we're gonna Teflon. You only Teflon the straights, these here. You don't ever Teflon the nipple ones. Those are made to go into the hose, no Teflon needed. But here, these ones here is what my brother's Tefloning. And we'll show you once it goes into um, the Hoppo's slow down valve that we got here. All right, so now we're putting the slow down fittings together. Again, you wanna get your vise. And, uh, and you don't want to over tighten the heck out of these things, guys. You want to just get them nice and snug. Enough so you don't get leakage. All right, so now we're going to Teflon the T. Again, remember, flat side Teflon, nipples not. not. And then that's gonna go on the other side of the return valve. And then once that's done, we go back to the pump and get it ready for installation. 
All right, so when you're tightening this fitting, you want to make sure because of your returns that um, that this is line across from the slow down valve. So at this point, guys, we have the slow down on. We've got the main fitting to the dumps. Um, we're almost there. All we got to do now is Teflon this T and we'll let you see what she looks like together. And then we'll get the back done and then we're going to work on the front after. good i really like this new technology because i didn't have these types of fittings in the past before you had to helicopter the dumps on but now you actually have this fitting thank you hoppos you guys getting this bad boy going All right. so now we have to tighten this fitting All right so now we're tightening it to the dumps now we got everything together my brother's putting the returns on and we ran it this way most people will run it you know like this but we decided to run it this way because the hoses coming from the car have been already sort of formatted to come up here for your um fluid coming out so this is kind of our design i like it it's got that little butterfly look if you look here it's kind of the same concept that we have on this side. Okay guys, so now she's in. This is the old pump, this one's coming out. As you can see, it's got the old dumps. Now we just need to wire up the coils on there, get them to the switches, and we're gonna be ready to roll. But I like this better because everything's chrome. It just looks totally better to me. All right, so now my brother's crimping and wiring the uh, coils, the solenoid for the dumps. These babies right here, once we get those on, we can test her out and make sure she stays up in the rear and then move to the next, move to the next one. So I got my brother, John from J Custom Builds, guys. If you don't know his website, take a look. It's on my screen right now. He rebuilds Harleys and he gives them away, guys. He's got great giveaways going on right now. We just did a tutorial on how to rebuild the pumps, the dumps on the pumps. And this is the old pump here. If you can look here, we had old hardware just i mean they didn't look great at all this is a finished product for the rear now we're going to do the front but guys that's what it looks like complete looks nice good. wired we have chrome dumps from hopples all the plumbing's new slow down valve this is the that old valve. 20 years ago guys 20 years ago modern now 2024 here we are and uh, we're going to redo the whole trunk and uh, you won't see any of this we're working on it as we go um and here we go yeah. Anyway, got John from J Custom Bills, guys. He helped me rebuild the entire plumbing on both pumps. Now the car is staying up. We've tested it. No leaks. Now we can dress the trunk up. We rewired the switches. Now all the white's going to be stripped out and redone. And the trunk will be done. And now we have all chrome pumps ready to go. Thank you, bro. We are good. Done. All right, guys. My 